Welcome to the channel, where we explore the farthest reaches of the universe and the deepest questions in astrophysics. Today we're diving into a mind-bending concept, the white hole. A white hole is the opposite of a black hole. While black holes are known for their intense gravitational pull, where nothing not even light can escape, white holes are thought to do the exact opposite. In theory, nothing can enter a white hole, but everything inside it is expelled outward. Sounds wild, right? So what exactly is a white hole, and how does it fit into our understanding of the cosmos? Let's take a closer look. First, to understand white holes, we need to understand black holes. Black holes form when massive stars collapse under their own gravity, creating a singularity, a point of infinite density, where space and time break down. In around this singularity is the event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's gravitational pull. But if you reverse this process, instead of matter falling in, you get something entirely different, a white hole. In simple terms, a white hole is a region of space-time where time and space also collapse, but rather than pulling things inward, it expels them outward. So while a black hole's event horizon traps everything, a white hole's event horizon repels everything. It's as if the universe is saying, stay away, nothing is getting in here. Now, before you get too excited, I should mention that white holes are entirely theoretical. No one has ever observed a white hole in the universe. So why do physicists even bother thinking about them? Well, white holes come straight out of Einstein's general theory of relativity. If black holes can exist in space-time, then white holes, as their time-reversed counterparts, must also be possible. In the simplest terms, if the laws of physics permit black holes, they should also permit white holes. But here's the kicker white holes would be incredibly unstable. Any small perturbation, even a single particle, could cause them to collapse into a black hole or simply disappear. One of the most intriguing aspects of white holes is their potential connection to black holes. Some theorists believe that black holes and white holes are connected through something called a wormhole. A wormhole is a theoretical tunnel that links two separate points in space-time, acting as a shortcut through the universe. The idea is that when matter falls into a black hole, instead of being crushed into the singularity, it could travel through the wormhole and emerge out of a white hole on the other side. This would essentially make white holes the exit points of black holes. So, imagine falling into a black hole and being spit out somewhere else in the universe, or maybe even a completely different universe, through a white hole. This concept leads to mind-blowing possibilities, like the idea that black holes might not destroy information, but rather transfer it somewhere else through these cosmic tunnels. This connection between black holes and white holes is part of a larger set of ideas in theoretical physics. One of these ideas is the Big Bounce Theory. You've probably heard of the Big Bang, which is the theory that the universe began as a hot, dense point and expanded outward. But what if, before the Big Bang, there was a universe that collapsed into a black hole, which then rebounded and became a white hole, kicking off the expansion of the universe we live in today? In this scenario, our universe would be part of an endless cycle of black holes collapsing and white holes expanding over and over again. While this idea remains speculative, it's an exciting possibility that challenges our conventional understanding of the universe. It Another fascinating implication of white holes is their relationship to the concept of time. In a black hole, time appears to slow down as you approach the event horizon, eventually freezing at the singularity. But in a white hole, the opposite might happen. Time could speed up as you move away from the event horizon. Some researchers have even speculated that a white hole could be responsible for certain high-energy cosmic phenomena, such as gamma-ray bursts. These bursts are some of the most powerful explosions in the universe, and while they are usually thought to come from collapsing stars or merging neutron stars, a white hole eruption could produce a similar effect. But again, these are just theories. The truth is, we have no direct evidence that white holes exist. They remain mathematical constructs within the framework of general relativity. So why haven't we seen a white hole? One reason could be that they exist only in the distant past or future of the universe, or that they are hidden within the complex dynamics of space-time. 
Another reason could be that they are incredibly short-lived, forming and then collapsing almost instantaneously. Or perhaps, white holes only exist in parallel universes, forever out of reach from our own. So where does this leave us? White holes remain one of the great mysteries of theoretical physics. While they may never be observed directly, they force us to think deeply about the nature of space, time, and the universe itself. Even if white holes don't exist in our universe, the idea of them pushes the boundaries of what we think is possible, and that's what makes them so compelling. The universe is a strange, complex place, filled with mysteries we're only beginning to understand. And white holes remind us that for every black hole swallowing up matter, there might be an equally strange object spitting it back out somewhere else. Could these two forces, black holes and white holes, be part of a larger cosmic balance? Could white holes hold the key to understanding what happens to the matter and information swallowed by black holes? In the end, the study of white holes might tell us more about the limits of our current understanding than anything else. They are a reminder that the universe is far more complex and enigmatic than we can imagine. And as we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what other mysteries we'll uncover. The discovery of black holes was once a revolutionary idea, and now they're a well-accepted part of our cosmic landscape. Maybe, just maybe, white holes will one day be a part of that landscape too. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the mind-bending world of white holes. If you like this episode, don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave us a review. Keep your eyes on the stars, and until next time, stay curious.